Graham Sylvester, and this is SAL News. If receiving information via text is your preference when it comes to communication, and you're looking for a job, you'll want to subscribe to the city's job list. Once you sign up, every two weeks, you'll receive a text message that includes a link to employment opportunities with the city of Salina. Sign up for this list by texting City Jobs to 81680. Now, if you're looking for a pet, you want to subscribe to the Salina Animal Shelter's adoption list. By signing up for this list, you'll find out which pets are adoptable every two weeks. Just text ADOPT to 81680. Salina has a new city commissioner, Melissa Rose Hodges. City commissioners voted 3 to 1 at their December 19th meeting to appoint Hodges to fill the position of Commissioner Randall Hardy. Hodges attended her first city commission meeting on January 9th and she will serve until January 2018. The position will be up for election in the fall of 2017. Hodges wants to make every member of the community feel like they have a lot to contribute. She said anything we can do to bring people together so they feel they have a voice. The first tee of Salina will hold indoor youth golf classes at the Hangar Indoor Sports Complex beginning Wednesday, January 25th for six consecutive weeks. The first tee is a national program that works to impact the lives of young people by providing educational programs that build character, instill life-enhancing values, and promote healthy choices through the game of golf. In Salina, over 450 individuals participate in the program each summer, and an additional 3,500 individuals participate in community-wide outreach programs throughout the year. First tee classes will begin at 5 p.m. and run for approximately 45 minutes. These classes are for new and returning students ages 7 through 10. The second class will begin at 6 p.m. and also run for 45 minutes. These classes are for new and returning students ages 10 and up. Class size is limited to 20 participants for each class. To sign up, email mike.hargrave at salina.org or keith.leonard at salina.org or call 785-826-7450. The City of Salina Public Works Department was recently awarded the Municipal Concrete Award for the work on the Ohio Street Project. This annual award, presented by the Kansas Ready Mix Concrete Association, is given to municipalities that complete projects that exhibit quality construction, aesthetic appeal, creativity from asphalt paving, and unique application or end use. The project, which involved upgrading and widening of the street, was done in order to meet the city's complete street standards. Congratulations to the City Public Works Department and to the lead designer, Wilson Company Engineers and Architects for this achievement. The Petco Foundation awarded the Salina Animal Shelter a $75,000 life-saving impact award to continue the life-saving work they do for animals in the community. The nonprofit organization, which is a division of the City of Salina Parks and Recreation Department, provides animal control, adoption services, and wildlife management. In February of 2015, the shelter achieved a national benchmark for no-kill shelter by saving over 90% of animals that entered their facility. The shelter was awarded two life-saving impact awards that year, one in April for $45,000 and another in December for $30,000. In April of 2016, the shelter was awarded an additional $100,000 Life Saving Impact Award. Funds were used to assist in the following projects. Converting a freezer room into a post-operative recovery room, replacing a HVAC unit for the cat room, staff training, repairing and resurfacing floors, replacing a vehicle, upgrading radios, and upgrading dog kennels. Funds from this grant will be used to remodel the cat room and upgrade fencing at the facility. In 2014, the City of Salina and Saline County implemented Code Red, a high-speed emergency notification system that alerts residents about severe weather, missing or endangered persons, inmate escapes, evacuation notices and routes, hazardous material incidents, boil water advisories, and other emergencies where mass notification is necessary for the safety of citizens. To send notifications, the city and county utilize a database of residential and business numbers. However, for additional means of contact, residents are encouraged to provide their cell phone numbers and email addresses. If you'd like to sign up for Code Red, visit salina-ks.gov slash Code Red or call the Sling County Emergency Management Agency at 785-826-6511. 
I'm Marnie Ryan. Thank you for watching SAL News.